Hey everybody, Don Georgievich here with Job Interview Tools. So today I want to share with you my top seven things that all hiring managers want to hear you say in a job interview. And this is really helpful because your chances of getting the job go up dramatically when you know what the employer is looking for because then you can play to their needs and they'll see you as the best candidate where everyone else will miss the mark because they didn't watch this video. So before we jump in, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's free and it doesn't cost you anything. It's a great deal. But before we jump into the seven things, the first thing you want to do before your interview is research the company so you understand what they do, who their competitors are, and any current press about them. I mean, maybe they just released a new product that cures cancer or whatever. The point is to educate yourself on them because the more informed you are on them, the better you're going to look in the interview. Make sense? So in the interview, the first thing they want to hear you say is that you understand what they do. So when they ask you, you know, do you know anything about them? You can say, well, you know, I read about your new product they released, or, you know, I read about that new operations you just opened up overseas, or, you know, I noticed your stock price went up or down, you know, whatever. But the key is to show them that you did your research and you educated yourself on who they are and what they do. And you might even ask them a question about something that you discovered about their company that creates a conversation and that's what an interview is. All right, moving on here to number two, let them know you read the job description and really read it several times, even print it out and highlight areas of importance. That way you'll have a solid understanding of what they're looking for so when they ask about your greatest strengths, you can tie your strengths to what they are looking for in the position. I mean, so many people just blow this question by rattling off, you know, some of their strengths that are not even related to the job. So the impact that they have on the interviewer is so much lower than they could have been had they just tied their strengths to the job. All right. Let's move on here to number three. Share with them that you have a natural ability to pick things up quickly and that you're a real fast learner. And then give them examples of why you say that. So when they ask you, you know, why should we hire you, Don? You know, you can say that you pick things up quickly. And then, you know, tell them why and then tie it back to the needs of the job. And then, you know, move on to tell them that, you know, you work well independently and that you won't need much direction to do the job because you pick things up very quickly and then give them an example of something you picked up quickly in your last job to reinforce you know, the whole point of learning things quickly. Make sense? Now, when I interviewed for jobs, I would tell the hiring manager, you know, that if you hired me, I would be able to hit the ground running on day one because I know this and, you know, and I know this and I know this and because, you know, I know all this stuff, that means you don't have to train me because I'm ready to go. And this and this and this, you know, are just all the things that are most important to them in the job. All right. Next one here is number four. Let them know that you're not just looking for a job, but you're looking for a career. I mean, you want to reassure them that you're not a job hopper and that you'll be here for the long term because employers hate it when they make a hiring mistake and hire someone who quits after three months. That's a huge loss to them. So actively reassuring them that their opportunity is exactly what you are looking for makes them feel so much more comfortable about offering you the job. And then of course, you know, don't just say, you know, that I plan to stay here for a long time. Give them your vision of what you want to be doing and where you see yourself going so they can visualize you in the role over the long term. All right, let's move on here to number five, be a team player. Let them know that you feel their company culture is a perfect match for what you're looking for and the type of environment where you do your best work and let them know that you're a team player by talking about your experiences from your last job and how you were the type of person, you know, to mentored coworkers along the way and well as, you know, picked up other people's workloads, you know, from, you know, people who just got behind in their work. Let them know that you're that kind of person. That's what a team player is. They don't let the team down. And then let them know that you always share your successes with the team and that you never take sole credit for anything. Even if your boss recognizes you for something that you did all by yourself, you know, let them know you're still the kind of person who shares the credit with the team because you couldn't have done it without them. That way, when they ask you about, you know, well, how do you think you fit in with a team of people, you know, that you've never worked with, 
you'll have a great answer for them. Okay, let's move on here to number six. Always ask good questions that challenge them. Remember, an interview is a conversation. I mean, if they're the only ones asking questions, you know, then it's a single-sided interview and it's not very effective. But when you ask questions that bring, that brings balance to the interview, so it's more of a conversation, it's more natural. I mean, have you ever sat down and talked to somebody who did all the talking? You know, it's not that fun. It's not that much fun. You want to have that back and forth and that, that, that way you get real value out of the meeting, okay? And then, you know, some of the best questions that you want to ask are the ones that challenge them or questions that help you decide if this is the right place for you. And some good questions to ask, some of my favorites are, you know, if we were to come to an arrangement where you offered me the position, you know, how do you see me fitting in around here? And what could I expect over the next six months? Now, this is a great question because it forces them to visualize you working there. And if they have any concerns, like if they can't visualize you, they'll bring them up and they'll let you know where they see weakness in you. And then you'll be able to address those concerns on the spot. It's really cool and it's very effective. Another good question to ask is about first year accountabilities because if you're going to do this job, you want to know how you're going to be held accountable during the first year. I mean, who wouldn't? And this shows that you're serious about the job. And the last and seventh thing that you want to say in a job interview is how passionate you are about what you do and that you're genuinely excited about this role. And don't just say it with words. Put your whole body into it so they feel what you're saying and vary your vocal tones, just like I do when I'm making these videos and give them facial expressions, just like I do when I'm making these videos and overall body language. You know, see, I put my arms, my body into everything I'm saying. I'm really trying to enunciate and communicate my point. If I just sat here and told you what to do in a very monotone voice, you, you wouldn't have made it this far in the video. So the only reason people like the videos that I make is because I communicate and I emphasize everything I'm saying with what are the words I'm saying, my facial expressions, my eyes, my hands, my body. So put your whole body into that interview so they can see and feel how passionate you are about what you do and this job. And when you do or say all of these things in your next interview, your interviewer is going to take notice and you'll instantly, I mean instantly, you'll be slotted as a top candidate. All right, my friend? That's all I have for you today. Now, if you would really like to knock the doors off your next interview, get the complete interview answer guide from jobinterviewtools.com. This book has 140 different questions and answers in it. It's got over 40 behavioral questions. It's got, you know, why do you want to work here? Tell me about yourself. What are your weaknesses? It's got like 140 questions. I don't even remember all the questions that are in this book, but I had had people who have purchased this came to me and said, Don, 50% of the questions in my interview came right out of your book. Someone else told me 100% of the questions from your book were in my interview. Now, I have had employers buy this book and use it as their interview guide, so maybe that was one of them. But usually, you know, 30 to 40% of the questions that you're going to get on a job interview easily at a minimum, are going to come out of this book, guaranteed. Now, you are going to get some technical questions, you know, like, you know, if you're in the medical field and they're asking, you know, how do you do a diagnostic procedure on the such and such machine? Obviously, that's not going to be in here. This is designed to teach you the more common questions, but more importantly, how to structure your answers so that if they ask you a technical question you know, about engineering or science or medical or, you know, automotive, whatever, they ask you a technical question that relates to your abilities, this guide is going to give you the framework for structuring your answer so that you can give a great answer. So even though it has 140 questions in here, it will teach you and prepare you on how to answer, you know, thousands of different questions all by using the right framework. And the cool thing about this guide, you can download this in ebook format. It's like 50 bucks. You can get it right now if you want it. It's also, and it comes in audio and video format. So if you learn better by watching videos or listening to audio tracks, you can download all of those tracks, put them on your phone or wherever, take me wherever you want, and you can study that way. And also, you know, for the old school people who like the physical hard book, I can ship this out to you as well. And I believe this is the only book, the only interview guide on the planet that is available in all three of those formats. And the cool thing about that is, um, 
It's also supported by me. So if you need help, you get stuck on a question, you need some advice, you can always shoot me an email for help. And that's only for people um, who have the book. So get this book. I mean, this is a no-brainer. You get this book, you're going to pass your interview. I mean, that's all there is to it. Hands down, this is one of the best books that there is. And, and that, my friend, is really all I have for you. I wish you the very best on your next job interview. And I know you're going to ace it. I know you are. So take care. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And that helps me understand the kind of content that you like so I can make more of it. And subscribe. That way you'll get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.